Friends in Christ, Sacred Heart is participating in the Eucharistic Revival that is ongoing in the whole nation with uh, parishioner witness talks. Please welcome today Marilyn Lynn to share her love of the Eucharist with us and inspire us in this year, second year of the Eucharistic Revival. My father was one of 12 kids in a Texas Southern Baptist family, so my faith was formed in the Baptist Church. When I moved to Des Moines to take my first professional job, I volunteered to teach Sunday school at Westminster United Presbyterian Church because that was where I lived by. I invited a fellow named Joe Lane to accompany me to my church. He went with me, but after about two or three visits, he told me he could not continue because he said my church was missing the source and summit of the faith, the Holy Eucharist. I didn't get it. In fact, I really was insulted, but I continued to attend Mass with Joe right here at Sacred Heart while teaching middle school kids on Sunday morning at Westminster. I warned Joe though, I said, one thing I will never ever do is become Catholic. So here I am. <laughs> However, the Holy Spirit did have other plans. After Palm Sunday Mass, way back in 1983, I walked out of Sacred Heart Church after Mass, I stood on the sidewalk right out there, and I told Joe I was going to become Catholic. I was as shocked as he was, <laughs> but the Holy Spirit had led me. Back then, Sacred Heart had the longest RCIA program in all of Des Moines, 18 months. I became Catholic finally at the Easter Vigil in 1985. I admit that my understanding and appreciation of the Holy Eucharist took time. At first, adoration seemed a bit foreign to me. Over time, Jesus convinced me of his presence there. And of course, we need to look no further than Jesus' presence at each and every sacrifice of the Holy Mass to realize he is right here with us. He shows up on the altar here and on altars throughout the entire world every day through our priest's acts of consecration. How blessed we are. Jesus has generously led me to exciting opportunities to serve him. My husband, Joe, our son, Hunter, and I joined our beloved late priest, Father Joe McDonnell, on a pilgrimage to Medjugorje back in 2005. While there, Jesus called me and later a woman I had met on that pilgrimage to lead pilgrimages ourselves to Medjugorje, and we began the very next year. God willing, we will lead our 18th pilgrimage next June and we have been graced to take close to 700 people there so far. Sacred Heart High School-led missions opened incredible doors for our son and me to join others by first traveling to Appalachia and the next year to Mexico with people right here in this parish. From those experiences, Jesus inspired me to serve on missions from Kenya to Liberia to Guatemala to Haiti. I loved Haiti. We can't go there anymore. But our Lord always does so much more for us than we can ever hope to do for him or for his people. In the fall of 2008, my friend Ellen and I were clearly called to create a conference 
the Christ Our Life Catholic Conference right here in Des Moines. Praise God with a steering committee of 28 volunteers, 400 go-to volunteers throughout Iowa and beyond, and many priests, the eighth biennial Christ Our Life Conference will occur again at Wells Fargo Arena one year and one week from today. And again, we will have world-class speakers. We've tapped on to most, most of the well-known Catholic speakers in the world, but we keep finding them. Many countries live stream now, and the attendance at Wells Fargo Arena has reached over 7,600. What incredible journeys Jesus allows us to embark upon when we give him our yeses. And at every Mass, we remember that the greatest yes of all, the greatest gift ever, is Jesus Christ's ultimate gift, his yes in the Holy Eucharist. <laughs>